Okay, what's up guys? This is gonna be a quick video about Fuji H43 that I went to try at Photo Fair in Thailand. So real quick for my Thai audience, click here for the Thai version of the video. So if you Thai, click i card on this one for the video of Thai. Okay, let's get to the point. I respect y'all's time, so I'm gonna keep this quick and short and nice. So here are the things I noticed after playing with Fuji H43. First, the appearance. I was so sure that I would like the Dura Black Ultra Silver version better, but after seeing it in real life, man, it looks dirty. It's a fingerprint magnet. There are smudges everywhere. It looks really ugly. Unless you clean it, of course, it looks nice. But the Dura Black version kind of reminds me of the you know, iPhone military green color. I don't know if that's what they call it, but it's kind of green. I kind of like that without the smudges. So if you plan to get one, you might need to carry a cleaning cloth to keep it look nice. Okay, number two, it's really light. Surprisingly, it's titanium, but it's light. I like it. compared to my GH5 that I'm currently filming with and this new lens I just tested. Click here for the test video. Okay, the lens I'm using is 10 to 25 millimeters Panasonic Leica F1.7 It's a micro four thirds lens But it's huge, it's heavy So when they hold the Fujifilm X43 Wow, it's refreshing I kinda like that Okay, next The optical and electronic viewfinder on the X43 Is noticeably larger than in the X42 Much easier on the eyes You don't feel cramped in a small viewfinder of the X Pro 2 anymore. But the one important thing missing from the X Pro 2 is the optical viewfinder is only one magnification, unlike on the X Pro 2. Whereas on the X Pro 2, when you attach a 23mm lens, then you switch to a 35mm lens. The optical viewfinder switches to a larger one. So now, if you're using 23mm on the X Pro 3 and switch to 35 you're still gonna get the same magnification on the optical viewfinder. And the frame line just gets smaller. So it might be a little tougher to look at the cramped image so small. But on the other hand, the whole viewfinder in general of the Expo 3 is larger than on the Expo 2 anyway. So nobody wins here, I guess. <laughs> Okay, number three, since the LCD is kind of hidden, it's kind of hard to access the menu sometimes. In order to see what's going on in the menu and for you to select the desired settings, you either have to one, open the back LCD screen and use it normally, or two, use the EVF to operate the settings. That could take some time, but, but I guess if you have a week or two with the camera, you have time to personalize, customize, to make it yours. I think by then it could be your second nature to know like, oh, here's this setting, this shortcut is here, this function button does that, does this. It might take time to get comfortable with camera, but I don't see it being a big problem here. So. And then there's the autofocus. Fujifilm advertise this camera to be able to focus in low light as dark as negative 6 EV at the event it wasn't so dark so I couldn't confirm if it's true or false advertising but I tried the autofocus tracking with my hand moving forward and backward left and right it couldn't keep up so well with my hand Maybe I was on the wrong setting. I didn't have much time with the camera because I'd been waiting for like 15 minutes to play with one and I didn't want to keep people in the back, in the line of my back waiting. Oh, how considerate of me. <laughs> so I guess maybe I, there was some tweaking that had to be done in order to optimize the autofocus. But we'll see. Oh yeah. And the shutter sounds so nice. So satisfying. It's not loud. It's not zero decibel silent. Of course it can be. It's mechanical. Okay. 
but you also have the electronic pulse shutter. But man, I gotta say, even the mechanical shutter, it sounds so soft, so nice. It makes you wanna shoot more. Everything about this camera just makes you wanna shoot more. Also, the sub screen on the back, that is kind of like the film reminder in the old day. Looks nicer in real life than in the video. It reminds me of Game Boy Color. <laughs> so in the end, will I get this camera? Probably, but not within a year. This is gonna be my dream walk around camera, street photography. Some people would like Leica, but nah, I like autofocus. <laughs> Nothing against them though. But if or when I get my hands on one for a long term, like I, like if I buy one, when I buy one, I'm gonna keep y'all posted to see how it performs. So thank you for watching this video. If you make it till the end, thank you very much. And subscribe or not, I don't care. I just wanna make videos for you. So I guess I'll see you next time.